Since 2004, the Nanubai Foundation has focused its education efforts on a small town in Gujarat. In five years, the high school graduation rate has increased from 25% to 75%. The nonprofit has also built two computer labs with internet access. Last week, the foundation celebrated its success with a fundraiser event to keep doing good work. Cal Penn was the honored guest speaker for the evening. Also in attendance was 2008 Olympic bronze medal winning gymnast Raj Pubser and a man Oprah Winfrey likes to call the youngest and most successful entrepreneur on the planet. Nanubai Education Foundation works to bring urban education to rural India. So basically we're trying to help equip the kids in rural India with the skills that they need to partake in the global economy. English education and information technology, because we think these things are absolutely essential to be part of the IT and technology boom in India. Specifically, so for English education, our flagship program sends American teachers to India to live and work for a full year. So for this year, we'll have nine American teachers in India working. important thing to be involved in. You know, I, I was honored that they asked me to be part of it, um, mostly because uh, rural education isn't something we're really hearing about nowadays in the media. Um, most of the attention is on India's economic boom, but we tend to forget the folks who are left behind by it. You know, the 40% of Indians who uh, are illiterate or the 25% that are living below 40 cents a day, uh, those are the folks who we're hoping to help out, you know, not, not by anything other than providing them with access to education, which is something they may have been denied in the past. After my accomplishment in Beijing, and I was standing up there on the podium, I was just so ready to give back because it was a feeling of absolute bliss standing up there when they draped that medal around my neck. That I wanted everybody in the world to have a, an opportunity to feel like this at least once. And, you know, especially with what Raj is doing, you know, he's allowing these kids in, in India to realize their dreams. And for me to be at an event like this, I think it's, this is a small step, but it is the first step for me. Just checking out this art that they got around here. It looks really good. So I think, I think people should, uh, should, oh, one of the pieces of art just fell down. See, I shouldn't be around here. My, it's my fault, I think. You know, I see the problem in India is that there's a big disparity between rich and poor. Uh, you know, you're either very rich or you're very poor, and if you kind of look at the realization of some of the stuff you saw in Slumdog Millionaire, it's kind of like that's how the poverty line lives. And, uh, you know, anything that promotes education, anything that promotes enriching the lives of a lot of these people, uh, you know, it's special in my heart and special in me because I am Indian and I'd love to make a difference. All right, so what do you guys think of tonight's event? We're very happy that it's successful and that, you know, there are, there's a great turnout and the organization itself is quite wonderful. So, you know, we're happy to support it. What do you guys like so much about this organization, this fundraiser? What do you think makes it so special? I think that the, the way in which they really interact with the children and the young people and give them not just education, but something to really aspire to. And really, the interaction between East and West is so powerful. I think so much has come out of those kinds of interactions in the past, and it's wonderful. Their overhead is less than 0.2%. So all the money you spent tonight went to the kids. You know, with the downturn of the economy and everything, do you think people are a little more reluctant to give? Do you think they're kind of watching their wallets? I'm sure a lot of people feel like they have less money in their wallets, but um, if you give, it'll come back to you. Now, the economic downturn means that folks are less likely to give because you need more to pay the mortgage and to pay the bills. That's understandable, but we're hoping that despite that, you know, donating a couple of bucks will go a huge way, especially with uh, an organization like Nanubai that only uses that 2% of overhead. 98% of the cash goes to the kids, so even if you've got five bucks, you can donate. In 2007, Nanubai graduates included three medical students and 15 engineering students. And the foundation is hoping to do more. More information can be found at nanubai.org.